welcome back to next session in Adobe form now we learn how to add an image in the Adobe form there are different method to add an image in the PDF form so first we learn two method one how to upload the image from our local machine laptop and second we'll see how to add the image from the SC70 78 image we generally we use to print the image in the smart form but here in the Adobe form we have different options so first we'll see those two second one URL based image is also possible that I will cover later so let's see first see two methods that is how to upload image from the local laptop and the SC78 so T code is SFP go to our form go to layout now first we'll add the image from local machine so to add the image I can again I can we can go from palettes object library or go to insert standard and image here also two field image and image field so I'm going with the image sometime I'm facing issue in the system that objects that blocks are not coming here so again every time I have to reset the palette that's why I prefer this one insert standard and image okay now place the image at the required place just double click ok and select the image which you want to print fine now the important point here is if you double click here sorry go to object here palettes and object this is very important otherwise see palettes and object So once we click on palettes and object after selecting this, after selecting our logo, here very important point to select this checkbox, embed image data. If you forget to select this checkbox, this image will not get printed in the form. So after, after uploading this logo in the object, select this embed image data then only it will get printed now click on save print preview see the logo in the output okay like this this is the first study text which I added and now this logo this I have added from the local machine now let's see a very common scenario what we do in the smart form we upload the logo from SC78 transition code fine so now I will go to SC78 transition code and I will select any image from there a very common image which is available in almost every system is enjoy logo which is SAP standard logo if you click on print preview you can see here by default in all the system we can see this logo or we can select from the other available options from your system let's see here the other objects my logo let's see this one also press enter okay this is very big so what I will do I will go with that enjoy logo only okay because this is available in any system now based on your requirement once you upload the logo in the SC78 okay that logo we can print in the Adobe form so now I will switch back to the layout and here now I want to print the image from SC78 so what I will do first close this because we have to add one variable so I will close this this is inactive first activate this and go back to our interface
Okay. In the interface, I'm adding one variable in the global data. That is, let's say GV underscore comp logo, company logo of type X string. Okay, add any variable here. I'm selecting GV underscore comp underscore logo of type X string. Save. And now in this code initialization, double click here. What we want, we'll get the output contained in that field GV underscore comp underscore logo. For that, here we have to add this variable in the output parameter. Fine. So here we have to add this variable gb underscore com underscore logo. And here we have to write the code to fetch the data binary content of this enjoy logo into our local variable gb underscore com logo. And then we'll print this in the layout. This is for logo content. So click here on the template. And for this, we have to use one class. And a CL underscore SSF underscore XSF underscore utilities. And there is one method get underscore BDS. Yeah, get underscore BDS underscore graphic as BMP. Okay, we have to call method of this class. And now here we have to add all the details like that is object of that object of the logo. Okay. So let me add the details here. So in the first that is object here, add graphics. Okay. Graphics here we have to pass the logo name. Yeah, I'm going to use enjoy. Based on your requirement, you can change this or you can pass this through variable also. And the ID is bitmap BMAP. And type here is color BCOL. Okay. And the receiving will be our this variable gv underscore company underscore logo. So gv underscore comp underscore logo. Fine. Open all the exceptions. So what we have done, we are calling the method of this class. We are passing the variables. That is graphics, logo name, important point from SC78. This is fixed, bitmap, and by color. And we'll get the value in this gv underscore comp underscore logo. Save, check, and activate. Okay, object activated. Go back. Now I'm going to form. Now for this, no need to add this variable from the context area. Okay, it is not required. So what we'll do here is not required to add the variable from interface to context. What we have to do, right click here in the context area, create graphics. Okay. And we can, we can also rename this by default name. So default name here is graphic. So let's say here, company logo. company underscore logo. Okay. Now here are the important things. By default here, we can see graphic type is graphic reference. This we have to use when you're passing the image through URL. Then here in this URI option, we have to add the URL from where we want to add the image. But here our requirement is we want to print through content and the binary content of that image we're getting in this gv underscore com underscore logo. 
So what we have to do here, he has from this drop down select graphic content and press enter. This will ask you do you want to change the type of the graphic, say yes, okay and here give the field name. So what is the field name here, gv underscore com underscore logo. So I will give the field name here, gv underscore com underscore logo and here type image slash bmp this is very important okay what we have done first we have right click here and we have created one node as graphic after that we have renamed this name field which was initially graphic to company underscore logo and then we change this graphic type to graphic content because we want to display the content through content. Then here we have to give the field name and meme type is image slash BMP. Save, check, activate. Okay, now I will go to layout again. Now this time what I will do, insert standard and image field, okay, drag and drop the field on the screen where we want, okay, and here in this object, here in this object area, what we have to do here? Let me add first this. So here what we have to do, see in the field, we can rename this. Let's say by default it is image field. So what I will do here, I will rename as company logo. Okay. And then go to binding option. Okay. And in the binding option, click on this icon. Use ZK ADF01 and here we can see all the elements. So here our element is company logo. See our element is not content variable gv underscore comp logo. Okay, it is not there. Here we'll get the element which we the node ID which we, we have assigned. Okay, so I will assign here company logo. Fine. What I have done? So the insert is standard I added image field then in the object of that, here first in the field, I will rename this company logo. Then the binding option in the data binding, we have binding means we are mapping the field. Which field value we want to display here? Okay, here I have bind this value company logo. Now I will save this. And let me check the preview. Okay, it is not printed. Now let me check by activating this. Save, check, and activate. Now if I execute here, the output okay this is optional we can completely remove this company logo this text field fine so in this way we have learned how to add the image in the PDF form either through the local machine this ZK tutorials I uploaded from my laptop and this SAP enjoy this is SC78 logo so we have learned both the option to add the image in the Adobe form. So in this way, we're done with this session. Thank you.